Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Your floor number, please. Roof. Select destination. Your apartment. Tyrell Pyramid. McCoy, LPD. Uh, yeah, just a minute. Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Obviously he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. Lagging behind again? Kusa didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still fitting the pieces together. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Gaff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jaws probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your case. You friendly with Eisendoller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean uh, Dr. Eisendoller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside, and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. 
How did Eisendoller's Moo Moo fit in? Hey, <laughs> you know, company rules only apply to the lesser ones. How do I get to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay, how do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendoller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. Select destination. Tyrell Pyramid. Your apartment. 